Hello, beta testers. Why can't you want me like the other boys do? They stare at me while I stare at you. Why can't I keep you safe as my own? One moment I have you, the next you are gone. Ow. Bungie, who hires psychologists to trick customers into spending more and utilizes FOMO or fear of missing out to reinforce pressure to make people buy now or regret missing out, was on Twitter yesterday appealing to Tumblr activists and SJWs by calling people Latinx, when if they knew a single Latino person, they'd know they could shove that comment right back up they ass where it belonged. If you know what I mean, right back up they ass, right back up they ass, right back up they, right back up they ass, right back up they ass, shove that comment right back up your ass, right back up your ass, right back up your ass, shove it right back up, shove it right back up your ass, take that comment and grip it and shove it right up your ass. If Bungie knew a single Latino, they'd have known better than to try virtue signaling and God bless every single Latino that said, no, it is my pleasure to read some of the tweets, most of which are from the Latino community themselves, that Bungie in their racist stupidity was foolish enough to hide because you guys didn't respond with the approved opinion. Could you shut the fuck up and make video games? Thanks. A gif that says, are you a sicko? A lot of hidden replies. Did you just Bud Light yourselves? Melanie Mac just laughing out loud but there's a lot of the out part, so. Hmm. I'd rather you just call me a slur. It's Latino and Latina, that's it. Bro, you guys too? Who the hell approved these posts from these game studios? Por que los gringos siguen llamando me Latinx? Yeah, it says, why do gringos keep calling me Latinx? <laughs> Thank you. Bungie hiding the comments made this a graveyard, and we've seen that same sort of censorship carpet bombing when there's an opinion that is not the approved opinion. How did this foolish little community manager not understand the Streisand effect? Bounding into comics says, today I learned Hispanic is a language. Hispanics don't like our language being manipulated or anglicized. But thanks for the open signaling to never buy any of your products again. Latino, Latina, Latinx and Latine are not words. Also, destiny sucks. My man. Yeah, it's Latino or Latina. Tino or Latina, anything else is a slur with Gene Wilder's Wonka saying, you must be new here. Which white, non-Hispanic employee wrote this? De chancla. This is my favorite comment of all of this. Teacher says that every time Latinx is said, a Hispanic gets right-wing radicalized. And of course that reminds me of this meme, where he leans in close after being asked, who, who radicalized you? And the answer is, you did. Hispanics when you call them a slur. Hispanics when you call them Latinx. One of my favorites I saved for less is I can't be the only one who thinks hiding replies to this tweet, the majority of which are from the Latino community. Speaking out against the use of the word Latinx is a really poor reaction from Bungie. Listen to the people you're trying to highlight. Don't silence them. No, 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 no. Bungie said shut up and smile for this online photo op so our investors and people see how good we're treated because we're we're great with the consumer. Our image is really great. Buy Destiny 2. Look at these harmless tweets that they were, oh, they're hiding them because they're so edgy, too offensive. Or is it just an opinion? An opinion that you're entitled to. But what this proves is it was never really about you, it was about making them look good. And if you're not doing that, your comment can be hidden. You know, it's crazy, we seem to be seeing a lot of that these days. Reddit recently banned someone just for using the term female. Your thoughts, if they don't align with theirs, are offensive. Ugly was a term, among other words, that would instantly deny you monetization, visibility, and if you think that it's just one site doing things like that with the words that silly, 
Think again. Some actress you've literally never heard of claims the term woke is equal to a racial slur. No, seriously. Like, like this video. You're not gonna, you know, while it's still here, you know what I'm saying? They claim that people use the term woke to undermine them, whoever they are, as if anyone could undermine these talentless hacks more than themselves. They're in a fight with logic and reason, so much so that they can take something that's been successful for decades and not be able to profit with it. Why? Because their repulsive message matters more than an appealing product which is getting in the way of profit. It could have just been a cheap beer with Bud Light, but they needed to make a statement. It could have just been entertaining movies, but Disney needed to send a message. Games can't even have pretty women in them anymore because these perpetually offended, intolerant hypocrites can only destroy, can only exclude, while waving a disingenuous banner of inclusivity. Unless you disagree with the cult's message, of course. When writers can't just make a good TV show, they gotta stick it to the fans and redefine beauty standards because that's what what the hell are you doing you know you know people are supposed to like this you know this is why the strikes went on this long because what the hell is wrong with you why is dove soap telling me that uh, there needs to be fat acceptance while they're sell while unilever their parent is selling this this food and yeah yeah really care that's what you want us to believe that you care thank you so much latinos because gaming's in a very hilarious space right now. Fortnite's like king of the world, right? But they were forced by the FTC to pay that $245 million because it was ruled that they tricked players into unwanted charges. And then, longtime chief creative officer Donald Mustard departs. And then Epic Games lays off 16% of its workforce, over 800 employees. Then, when this guy departs, he says, and I quote, I'm not a good fit for this new version of Epic. It requires people of a different kind. Okay. I've been shot many times as the messenger, and it makes it clear that there is no bigger threat to these dishonest and deceptive people virtue signaling than the truth. Holding up a mirror to their own actions is hostility, bigotry, every name they can think up. But I've always said, when their best defense is to silence you, because their ideology cannot stand up to scrutiny. We are not necessary as a part of their equation. Like a hyper child, after a while, they'll tucker themselves out. A game retroactively removes some of what made people buy it in the first place. And then when customers justified in their frustrated feedback, has their feedback hidden? You know. A dislike button is apparently a weapon, so the powers it be need to take away the ability to dislike, because they need you to just consume without seeing whether or not other people- they don't want you talking. You get that, right? If the comments don't reflect the approved sentiment, they will lock the comments, hide the comments, remove the comments, ban you, block you, shadow ban, put you on a list. Somebody came into the stream last night and said Facebook blocked the comments. I love that. Force feeding. You, you decide what gets funded. If you give it your money, they have no reason to stop it. But if you're not about it, 